Hello and welcome back guys. Today we're going to be trying out a run and gun uh, indie shooter with some very sort of macabre art style called Aw Sable. And it's a very interesting to look at game. Uh, it's got a very old school 8-bit style sprite art type of aesthetic and some really interesting details. Uh, the author clearly put a lot of time and effort into developing the atmosphere on this one. And stuff like that can be a real mindfuck. One thing that puts me off a little bit is the main character's running animation looks a little bit weird. But, uh, he or she, I think she, has these two sort of demonic eyeballs floating behind her, which you can use to trigger some items, and eventually you get a gun. And there's some very sort of, I don't know what to say, like sci-fi, strange alien sort of things going on, some culty kind of stuff. I almost want to say this is like a little bit Lovecraft inspired, some of the aesthetic that goes on in this. Really interesting to look at and very sort of grimy. Um, you can see all the, the little detail they put into the background. It's like hands reaching up out of the water. Sound is very atmospheric as well. That, that's kind of terrifying. This is like pixelated, looks like breaks in reality going on in the back. And I'm back to that. I think the sound very well complements what's going on in the screen. I'm glad there's no annoying repetitive jump sound every time I jump. Use your eyes to open his. The detail actually reminds me a bit of some of the stuff that happened on Sega Genesis. Um, I feel like there should be like a grimier sounding MIDI track going on in the background. I think that would be right at home, but, you know, it takes a little bit of a higher road than that. Which is good. I think it actually is probably better off for it. Too deep into the woods to return, forever the hearts of the hunters burn. So this seems to be setting up some sort of story. I ran through a little bit of the beginning just to get a feel for what's going on here, and I'm not sure I understand. But I am told that this is somewhat of a spiritual sequel to another game called All of Our Friends Are Dead, which I'm looking forward to checking out in the future because it's supposed to be just like this. And I feel quite at home in this sort of a uh, gaming environment. I think this is very cool. Look at that monster design. That's awesome. So simple, yet still very cool. There's blood boiling blood pits with ghosts or arms or something coming out of them. Bathe you in flames. Definitely heavy atmosphere. The way everything's sort of twitchy definitely adds to it. Whoa. I think I'm going down now, actually. There we go. Why couldn't we just be safe together, it says. Wow, look at that. I mean, I can tell it's just sort of an animation that's going on, but the way it sits with the pixels that are transparent in the foreground, that's really an interesting effect. And it's something you don't really see people playing with, like low-res pixel effects like that. <laughs> That's very blinding, but very interesting also. It makes me want to really sort of take my time when I walk through this and really look at everything. The hunters smell wild blood in you. And every time you touch those guys, they fall away into the floor. Wow, that's really weird looking. These eyes I gave that you may see the face below eternity. 
I'm guessing that was a loading screen, but either way, it looked like it was part of the narrative. Oh, wow, that guy was ready to shoot. Some of the sort of unexpected little dark turns that it makes reminds me a little bit of, like, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Become a sport more challenging. Uh, okay. I think you mean get this guy's shotgun? Yeah, that's what I thought. So now I can actually shoot uh, using my mouse, rotate, and left click, and there's actually destructible materials, which I really wasn't expecting. When you shoot those guys, some weird sort of like chain link grate falls out of them, which I don't quite understand. Unless I'm just mistaking a smoke effect. You could probably see it there. Whoa. It all makes me very curious what's actually going on between these floating eye things and the, you know, the shotgun and the cultists. And this is about as far as I got before. Do I need to read this? I'm walking on nothing. There's trees flying by. I don't know what that is up. Oh. Okay, I guess I could fall through the floor there somewhere. It's always raining, but not where I am. I was almost just a little bit disappointed that this would be a combat-based game. I was kind of hoping it would be more just atmospheric, sort of walk around and take in stuff. But, you know, it's, it's good that there's interactive elements, too. I mean, this is a game after all, it's not just an art project. Although occasionally it can be tough to tell the difference. Oh, that's a bell. Okay, I couldn't tell. I'm not sure if that's good or not. Oh, there's two of them, and I bet I have to get the other one before that one stops ringing. There we go. I think just about everything kills you in one hit, but I haven't died a lot to know yet. Wow. What is that? What is that? This is the kind of stuff I was expecting from a game like Fear, but it never actually happened. Fear really, really was not that scary, at least in my opinion. Sort of took the easy way out with horror in that game, I thought. And I am loving the art style, and this is so cool to look at. Wow. What the hell is that? So this is what's left of the place with the... Whoa. That's really creepy also. I don't know if I can even kill it. Yeah, I can.
this is some seriously unique stuff. I don't think I've ever seen another game that quite looked exactly like this. Oops. Oh, that was my fault. As I said in the Fract review, uh, or look at, um, I sort of found it interesting how so much of this stuff comes across as abstract because there's not a lot of detail in it, and I feel that this is another case where that really applies. If you had more detail, I think it would actually be a little less interesting, perhaps. It's just sort of the rawness and the imagination that you get to bring to it. That's what makes it really special, I think. Does this have to go away? There it goes. And then... I can go over here. I thought I could go left. I can go either one. I have no idea. Something blocking me there. thing is really creepy. Okay, what's the point of this area? You're supposed to go down? What's going on? What's going on? Is that trying to get me? I can't fall any faster. Shot it. You can shoot the creeping death. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to land on those. That's sort of a unique way to progress. Whoa! Wow. I don't know where I am, but that was interesting. Alright, so it looks like this game is ramping up to be a little bit more action than I expected even. But I think we've gotten a decent taste of what's to be expected in this one, so I'm going to cut it at this point. So thanks very much again for watching. This was All Sable, and I'll put the download link in the description as always. See you next time, guys.